Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to kind of chop and slice samples. Um, I have a sample loaded up here in Simple Bake A. And you'll see these two flashing zeros here at the top. What those indicate basically is where the sample starts. Um, the cool thing about the KB3 is that you can start in, you can start your sample um, at any, at any point, but it'll preserve the same beats per minute. So if we go all the way up here to one full beat, basically it adds a whole first, uh, first part of the sample that wasn't heard before. So we'll go back to zero. And you can hear kind of that guitar coming in, but if you add that whole next beat, but it still preserves the sample. And you can go all the way down to minus one, and it'll kind of add, you hear that, how that snare kind of double taps there. Um, that is to pre preserve the length of the sample, but you don't get that you hear with original start. You kind of hear that bass come in and that guitar come in, but if you go all the way down and take out that one, it'll just be the drums. But it'll, it will give you that little double tap there. Um, so we'll go back to the original setting. And what you see up here these uh, these indicate how many or what 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 essentially what part of the sample is being played, and I'll show you what happens when you take all these out. So you just have the very very first part of the sample being played, but you're still preserving the beats per minute. Let's take out even the very first part. And you notice that, I'm, that three doesn't light up. The uh, interesting thing about three is that when you hit it, it'll kind of add, um, it'll, it'll add something to the sample to kind of create a, something that'll, that'll work for three, four time. I'm not really sure if that's true or not, but just take a listen. kind of adds a little extra beat in there. And I think that's for a 3-4 time, but I'm not exactly sure. So anyway, you can kind of mess around with which parts of the samples are being played. that guitar there at the beginning. You can get really creative with kind of what you're sampling there. You notice how the eight is like that last part of the sample that we represented. Now if you come up with something that you like, so say we like the way that this little short sample sounds, use the shift key again and it'll go back to the regular interface of the KP3 and you can add any effect to that. And if at any time you want to go back, you can still edit the original sound. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope this helps.